Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And in this video we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Cable figure from the Zabu Builder Figure Wave. Now it's been a while since I've done a 5 Minute Figure Review on a Marvel Legends figure but I had to pick this cable up because he's just pretty awesome. First thing I'm just going to point out is the artwork on the back is very different to the figure. It shows an exposed arm and unfortunately Cable has a covered up arm. But that's because this is based loosely on the design that he had in the Marvel vs Capcom 2 game I believe. Um, let's crack it open, let's take a look. Either way it was definitely a figure that I wanted to pick up. Now being a fan of the 90s comics I liked this blue and yellow version of Cable. We saw him in a whole bunch of different comic books and we've had a few cables in the past from various different waves and some really good ones but this to me was the cable that I wanted in my collection. I did a custom of him absolutely years ago, it was about six years ago I think it was. Um, I got rid of that a long time ago so yeah I'm really pleased that they finally did it and it was a must have for me picking it up. Now it is part of the builder figure, of course it's a builder figure. They're finally attacking the Savage Lands again, which is really cool. Um, we haven't had that figure for a long time, but unfortunately I'm not going to pick up the entire wave this time, so I won't be doing a review on that Builder figure, but do check out some of the other video creators out there because there are some very good reviews on that Builder figure. But focusing in on this cable. Now I'm not going to polish it up. There are some flaws here, but there are also some very cool things about him as well. Now the first thing that I'm going to point out is there are no butterfly joints in the shoulders, which is a shame because I think it does give the figures a little bit more articulation when it comes to action figure photography and you know posing and all that kind of stuff. So it's a shame that they're not on this particular figure. And the arms have got pins, whereas the the legs are pinless. And I'm really not a big fan of the mix match where you've got some pins and some pinless I think it's nice when you get a completely pinless figure but I'm also not one to complain when a figure does have pins but when it's a mix match of the two it does kind of irritate me a little bit because it doesn't quite fit into either one of those camps now the head sculpt on this I absolutely adore I think it's a really cool head sculpt I love the effect piece on the eye the scarring is really there and the pupil the detail on the pupil is really really nice it's really really detailed and there's not a huge much more I can say about that, but it is a good pupil. Um, I love the stubble on his face as well. Uh, it's just a really nice head sculpt. It really is a good head sculpt and probably my favourite of all the cables that we've had, if I'm completely honest. Now he does come with interchangeable hands. So on the figure there you get like a, a kind of a, an open hand and a fist hand. And then you get two trigger finger hands as well. And you do get two guns. Now... Another thing that's a little bit of a shame is there's no holster on the back so you can't attach any of the guns onto his back and if I'm honest both of the guns that he come with are a little bit meh if I'm honest. Um, I always associate Cable to some really big weaponry and unfortunately the two that we've got are just a little bit underwhelming. There's nothing really exciting about them. I mean they're, they're painted nicely. The best I've ever seen on a on a Marvel Legends figure, but they just look a little bit underwhelming in his hand. What I want to see is a huge big gun. Here he is next to the yellow and blue Cyclops from the X Men '97 wave, and also the yellow and blue Gambit from the three pack. Now, unfortunately, none of the yellows and blues across these figures match. Now, the Cyclops does match a lot better with the uh, yellow and blue suits, but Cable, unfortunately, really does stand out as a different shade of blue and yellow. Now, looking at some of the previous figures we've had, the yellow is a little bit more closer to the older Cyclops that we had in the uh, juggernaut wave I think it was um, but the blue is very different so he doesn't really fit in with anyone which again makes him stand out as more of a Marvel versus Capcom version of the figure and I think that this is an interesting choice of design because obviously Jada toys are absolutely knocking it out of the park with the Street Fighter 2 Ultra range of figures so for anyone that's collecting those you really can put this cable in as one of the characters in there and that's definitely where I think I'm going to put this cable in. Originally I picked him up to go on my Marvel Legends X-Men shelf but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to put him there or whether I'm going to put him with my Marvel versus Capcom waiver display waiver figures I don't know um 
Posing wise, he's not too bad. You can get him into some pretty dynamic poses. I'm just having a little bit of a play around here. Um, but yeah, articulation wise, he's not the best that Marvel Legends has ever put out, but he's definitely by far not the worst. You can get him into some pretty decent poses. As I said before, butterfly joints in the shoulders would have definitely enhanced him. But I do have to give props to the Marvel Legends design team. I love all the pouches. I love the design of the costume. All in all, he's a pretty good figure. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.